Hello everyone, my name is Brady with OWC and today we are going to be going over Apple's very first M1 chip in the 2020 MacBook Pro. This is the base model we're going to be cracking open today. It comes with the 8 gigs of memory and a 256 gig SSD. We have upgraded models coming, but for now this is what we're going to be doing. We will be going over what's inside the box and also a quick peek as to what's inside of the MacBook Pro itself. But first, let's get this packaging off and take a look on the inside of the box. All right, now that we have this all open and spread out for you, let's take a look and see what everything is. On this side, we have the stickers and documentation. Pretty standard Apple Fair these days. On this side, we have the 61 watt charger with a Type-C to Type-C charging cable. For the machine itself, the unibody is pretty close to previous models. Uh, on this side over here, we have two Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports. Over here, we have one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Overall, the keyboard layout is the same, but the buttons are the new improved style you've seen on uh, last year's model. Uh, other than that, everything looks pretty close to, to what we've seen previously. Taking a look on the system information here, it does say chip, where previously it said Intel processors, this time it says M1 chip. Just a neat little takeaway in case you didn't know. That being said, let's go ahead and shut this down, turn it around, open it up, take a look on the inside. All right, everyone, we already have the back cover open so we could look inside. First, front and center, we have the new M1 chip underneath a heat sink with a heat pipe leading to one fan. This is different than previous versions of MacBook Pros where they had two fans, but it appears the improved thermals of the M1 chip require only one. Here we have the two storage modules. Down here we have a three cell battery. Around the fan we have one speaker with another speaker on the other side. Underneath this piece of tape, it appears we got connectors for the Wi-Fi antenna that usually runs in the hinge here. And under these three pieces of tape here, we have a random collection of capacitors, a couple of Apple chips that we're unsure what they are currently, and the Thunderbolt chips. This is everything we could see without a complete disassembly. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and put the cover back on so we can power this on and run some tests. Now that we have this put back together, we went ahead and ran some benchmarks for you. Just in case we weren't clear enough in the beginning, this is the MacBook Pro with the 8-core CPU and the 8-core GPU. It has 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD. We went ahead and ran a Geekbench test, which is a general purpose CPU test. Interestingly enough, that already had the Apple Silicon architecture built into the test. That being said, we achieved a single core score of 1728 and a multi-core score of 7562. We also ran Aja benchmarking on the SSD to see what kind of read and writes we were able to achieve. We achieved a write of about 1900 megabytes a second and a read just shy of three gigs a second. To test the GPU, we went ahead and ran Unigen Valley 2013 edition. We used ultra settings with four times anti-aliasing. This was able to achieve frames per second of 40 with a score of 1689. Overall, this machine performed wonderfully in our CPU, GPU, and SSD tests. That being said, this was our first look at Apple's new MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. I'm Brady with OWC. Have a good day, everyone.